Oh my goodness, this is so huge. Stay tuned for this, guys, because some terrible thing has just happened to somebody important. Now, we didn't care when it happened to all these peasants out here, but dadgummit, now they crossed the line. They're, they're, they're taking down our favorite president, and this is not fair. I mean, they can take our babies, our, our grandmother in the senior home. They can, they can, they can worldwide depopulate, but dadgummit, don't you touch our president. Welcome back to uh, Live Now from Fox. I'm Andy Mack. Of course, we were following Wait this. Wait a minute. Let's go back. What did that say? Huh? What is that? Do you see that? Monkey B O S Monkey Box Briefing. Friends, can anyone help me understand what this means? This is I did not change this. This is a video from this now news agency, whatever. It's a legitimate news agency. I looked it up because I couldn't you know, I mean to be honest, I haven't really watched the news that much lately. I'm not paying attention to all the propaganda, so I don't know. Maybe there is a monkey box going around. I know there, there's some kind of a POX or a pox, which is related to the small, you know, POX. But, uh, and, and of course, we all know what that's all about. And we all understand what we're about to go through. And all the subliminal messages that they're putting forward on the old television. Well, I don't know, friends. If someone out there knows if this is somehow come some kind of legitimate thing. Did this news agency try to get around the algorithms by putting a B? I mean, I do that sometimes a lot. Instead of writing it the way it should be, you just misspell it, that way it, it'll go through the, you know, algorithms, I don't know. Or, is there not only a monkey P-O, but also a monkey B-O, and is the B-O worse than the P-O, and that's what we really should be talking about, but instead, what we're talking about is a raid on the former president's, his, the president's residence, right? Uh, well, you know, uh, and I and I'm and I can just hear it. All of you out there, you just are done. No, you're just crazy upset about what's going on in this country. Why? How dare they go into the president's a uh, place of residence and just bust it down? And just crazy. Why we haven't got any rights anymore? Uh, the country's going to hell in a handbasket. Uh, well, that's what we really want to talk about today. Uh, of course, I agree with you. <laughs> We're going down to hell quick in a handbasket, in a sled, a toboggan, uh, uh, you know, a race car doing 357 uh, Mach, you know, five, whatever. But it's not going down the way you think. All right, because I keep telling you guys everything that's up, it's really down, and everything that's left is really right. It's all upside down and backwards, guys. And we're going to have to pay attention. Now, I don't even suppose or presuppose or imagine that I'm going to convince anybody. Huh, they won't even let this video get out to the people, let alone convince anybody of what I'm trying to say. And I don't really, well, I don't know if I don't care. I do care. But I don't really think that that's the purpose of this video. I know that we're going to reach a few thousand people at the very most. But what I have found is that my videos are, our thoughts, our truth is affecting this world. Uh, they don't like it. They don't like this truth. And it does get out there. You know, we, we start talking about things that are important and somehow this trickles. This is the true trickle down economy thing. You know, when truthers start speaking the truth and they don't give up. So I'm just going to show you something. Now, I know a lot of you, even my subscribers, are, you know, Trump lovers, and I understand that. I don't, I don't blame you, but I do, however, have to warn you that while you may prefer Donald Trump, the billionaire, over, you know, the socialist tyrant who's trying to destroy us, who wouldn't, 
It's all set up. It's staged. And they want you to be angry. So I'm going to show you some evidence of that. I'm going to show you what's really going on. And I'm going to make a statement to start with. That's going to probably irritate quite a few of you. And I'm sure I'll get quite a few emails. And listen, I'm not saying, you know, uh, I don't care. I do care. But I want you to try to understand it from my point of view. Because I think it's important that you do. Before you send me all these text messages and, and comments saying that I'm a traitor and I'm a bad guy. And Dave, you used to be a good guy, but now I hate you with all my heart. You know, whatever. But I must speak what I believe is the truth. And I believe we're being corralled into a, a situation that we, we need to be aware of. So what I'm going to say is, I don't really care if the president of the United States had his home invaded. I don't care if they walked in on him, stark raven naked in bed with his, his lover or whatever, and took pictures and it was illegal and, or they found, you know, maybe they found some illegal substances like pot. We'd be outraged, right? What, the president has a right to have pot in his house? What is this, a free country or what? Well, you see, this is the problem. We're outraged, aren't we? Are you outraged? I know you are. Ooh, I know you're just a darn mad. Well, guess what? You weren't mad when millions of people all around the world, okay, here in this country and all around the world, for the last, I don't know how many, up teen years have been raided and abused and dragged out of their homes. Not while they're away on vacation to New York, right? But, or, or wherever the president was, I forget where he was. But, um, they were in their home. Maybe some of them shot. Innocent people shot by the police. We've had no rights for many years and none of you care. But you see, the only caring that you're doing is a selective caring, which they are manipulating your heartstrings. They can make you stand up, sit down, you know, get outraged, say nothing, speak up, go rally, Stay home. They can make you do anything they want. They got you right where they want you. Now, I'm going to show you a few clips, friends. And, you know, if you don't want to... I'll warn you to start with. I'm going to show you something that may be a little upsetting to some of you. You may not like the feeling of looking square in the eye of truth. Or possibilities that perhaps we're all being fooled. And if that's the case, if you're going to... Uh, if this is going to ruin your day and you're not going to be able to get through this, then I suggest, you know, don't even watch this. And I'm not being sarcastic. I'm, I'm serious. I, maybe this is not the video for you because this video is going to be chock full of opinions because nobody knows nothing. I guarantee it. Except for the Father. For neither the angels nor the Son, but only the Father in Heaven knows what the heck is going on down here. Anyway, let me show you something here. Just take a look at this. And it was a big one out of Florida as we were watching the scene outside Mar-a-Lago in Florida as Trump said his estate there was raided by the FBI as they searched for potential documents. She's called Riviera Beach home for 25 years, but back on December 18th at about 1 in the afternoon, this 90-year-old woman who asked not to be identified for this interview had some uninvited guests. I don't know how the cops got in here. The noise woke me up when something said it went boom, like a bomb or something. Shattered glass, a busted door, and traces of a flashbang device. Riviera Beach police say after evidence of criminal activity, they got a search warrant. Oh, yeah. That's been going on every diggity dang dang day. Every diggity dang city. At every diggity dang hour of the day and in the deepest, darkest Amazonian forest, you know, everywhere you go to the northern Siberian peninsula, all the way to China, I mean, oh, it's not just communists being railroaded into their homes, being forced against their will to rot, quarantine, concentration camps, 
war, nuclear weapons, fear tactics, propaganda, MK mind-altering programs, everything that's going on, nobody's complaining about nothing. Most of the people don't even know what's going on. They're every, do you imagine every city in the United States, every town, every municipal, every place, we're drinking poison water. They, they Not because it, it's just poison because of the environment or global warming. They're putting the poison in the water. It's a chemical. They brought it over from Germany in Project Make You Sick and Die, right? In that project. Remember that one? The Project Make You Sick and Die? This has been going on for a long time and nobody said a darn word. In fact, we're going down there buying our water from the grocery market in a plastic bottle leaching chemicals. It's killing us all and nobody says a word. There, there are people every diggity dang day being abused. Old ladies and children being slapped around. Nobody cares. You didn't care when, I don't know how many years ago, they decided that it was against the law to not send your child to some propaganda kindergarten because Ein Fuhrer wants to propagandize your child and, and, and you thought, well, that's, that'd be great. Yeah, hail the president. Hail to the chief. Oh, look, we're all patriots. Oh, here we are in kindergarten and up on the wall, there's this flag thing in a dinghy. Oh, excuse me? What am I supposed to do? Put my hand over my heart and give my allegiance to the flag and the republic for which it stands. I will obey Ein Fuhrer. Oh, I will do whatever you say. Please, let's go be patriots. There's a, probably some other country just waiting to be blown up somewhere. Oh, and I can't wait till I grow up and I can join the military. Right? Oh, yeah, by that time... I'll probably realize that I'm not even a little boy. I'm probably just a little girl. I'll be wearing dresses. And by that time, mommy and daddy will be split up. I'll haven't seen my family in years because they won't be able to handle all of the stress of trying to survive in this world. They're going to pit mom and dad against each other. They're going to tell me to hate my mom and dad. They're probably going to... Dad's going to lose his job. And... Look, it's just going to be a nightmare. My whole problem is, is that I'm not really a boy. See, I'm probably having anxiety over the fact that I really, I must be inside. I'm a, I'm a woman. And I must go and get an operation, which in probably about 3.4 years, They'll come out on the news saying that if you've ever been encouraged to be a girl when you're really a boy, we've now discovered that this is a fraud. And even though there is no way for you to get your genitalia back, you can sue them. So you got that going for you. You know, we could probably sue these guys for a billion dollars and you can get maybe a hundred thousand out of it and the rest goes to the lawyer. See, they're going to get the money back no matter what happens. First of all, they're going to sell you a drug that's going to turn you into a monkey. All right. Then they're going to take all the money that you're going to pay them for that. But of course, you don't have the money, right? So what we'll do is we'll make a policy in the United States where anyone who wants to go and get themselves turned into a monkey can just sign up and the government will give you the money for that, right? We'll just supplement your income and give you an insurance which is called turn to a monkey insurance and we'll take it out of your taxes we'll have a little program we'll put it in your school room we'll have charts on the wall teachers will be trained on how to explain the huge groundswell of people that they're just coming out of the woodwork that want to be monkeys now and and of course it has nothing to do with the fact that we've got a training starting in kindergarten and a push on all the media and all the propaganda coming out of the White House or whatever. They're, they're going to try and take away parental rights because this is a, this is a crisis. There's so many children that want to become monkeys and we can't thwart their inner desire.
their inner monkey. So we're going to take the taxpayer dollar. We're going to pay for these things. We're Now, first of all, how are we going to get around these darn doctors that think that this is inhumane and that it would be wrong why they're, they're so stupid? They've been trained by, I don't know, maybe science? So we've got we to gotta fix this because we don't care about science. All we care about is the policies that's going to get us to the one world government. We don't care if we got to lie about global warming or, or the nature of, of, of what is is and what the word even means or, 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 you know, whatever. We'll tell people, hey, recycle your plastic. But, and we'll do this for years, right? Even having been saying, put your plastic in. And it turns out years later, we find out there is no program to recycle plastic. Like 2% of your plastic that, that supposed to go and get recycled is, is getting recycled. The 98% of it is just going into landfills. But you see, the whole thing made you feel better because you thought you were recycling. And that way you were willing to go and continue to purchase plastic, which is also killing you. This is a win-win situation. Now we can sell you more of the pharma and you would never have even known what hit you. Had not there been some guy named Alex Jones, that terrible person, we'll put him in jail. Okay? Of course, what you don't know is we put him out there as controlled opposition. And then, then it hits you. Oh, boy. Then it hits you. It's like a round and around we go. It's like some kind of a weird catch-22. You're either going to die a horrible death or you're going to die a horrible death thinking it's a wonderful paradise. Either way, you're going to die. But, I digress. Let me show you that all of your fears are now confirmed. All of your mass hysteria over some invisible bacteria floating through the air that killed no one is far more important an issue than all the children and the babies dying and the pedophilia and who knows where Epstein is and why is our president seen standing there holding hands with Mr. Epstein and his girlfriend and all of his logged flights to the island, we don't know. And why are they in that little black book? That's the real question. But guess what? It doesn't matter because WikiLeaks is going to come along and tell us the whole thing just right out in the open, just tell us flat out what Biden's son's doing and Pelosi's child and, and you know, Romney's kid over there in Ukraine sucking up the oil. And two weeks later, oop, we got to cover that up. Why don't have a big war, right? I don't know. What's going on? Do you? Well, let me tell you. I'll give you a little clue. Listen to this. The cops with guns stand over here talking about where's the drugs. I said, what? What drugs? There's no drugs in here. Police searched the home with drug-sniffing dogs, but came up empty-handed. I've never been arrested. Never been in jail. Police say the search warrant was executed at the correct address, and that while the resident may have not known about drugs being sold from her home, it doesn't mean it didn't happen. There you go. You hear that? Okay, see, just because we searched the entire home, we burned it to the ground, and never ever found any drugs just because this woman's 90 years old that don't mean we shouldn't smack her around and destroy her home you know hey just because she's not really doing the stuff that we said she is actually doing doesn't mean that she shouldn't be accused of doing it anyway because you see just because something can't be true doesn't mean it's not true you see what I'm, you follow what I'm saying here? Why? Because when the government tells you, you must believe and you must just accept whatever fate they are going to put upon you. That's it. You must believe. And listen, we're going to come on the news every night, about five to six, seven o'clock at night. We're going to have everybody turn that on and we're going to instruct you and how you're supposed to feel. We're going to instruct you after your children, your families are arrested and people burned out and beaten up and, and harassed. We're going to instruct you on the fact that none of this is actually happening and you'll believe it. Oh 
but this is an isolated incident, isn't it? That's what it is. It's, this is not happening all over the... You know, these people are killing themselves, Dave. It's their own fault. They deserve to go to prison. Oh, is that right? It's not something that's happening every day. Well, it hadn't happened to you yet, has it? You know what? Here's the funny, weird little statistic. It's actually happened to most of us in one way or the other, but we still don't give a diggity dang dong. We don't. We don't care as long as it's... As long as it don't touch our president. You see, I don't think we really care what happened with this Mar-a-Laga thing. I think they want us to care about this, and that's why we care about it. I don't think you have any cares of your own. I don't think you have a mind of your own. I don't think you have a will of your own. I don't think you're a human being anymore. They've taken that from you. And all you're doing is sitting there clapping your hands like a little dolphin. Oi, 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 oi. You know, like waiting for a prize. Somebody will throw you a little, you know, treat. That's all you want to do. Is sit there in front of the television eating your biscuits and candy. And your soda pop. Go have McDonald's delivered to your door. It's all you care about. I mean, they could take your children. They could come right into your home. Remove your elderly parents into an end-of-the-road facility, right, that is just drugging them, tie them to some sort of a bed where they lie there till they die. Maybe they'll even put them on a ventilator for you and give them a DRUG that hasn't been ever recommended or tested or studied for this kind of thing. But it doesn't really matter because if you do this kind of thing in a city like New York, all you're going to get is a slap on the wrist and you might even get voted in as the star NBC news anchor, you know, to boot. But, you know, of course, this is such a rare occasion. It hardly ever happens except for every day in every city in every town, in every nation. Look at this. Investigator Dave Savini with this exclusive. So you're saying that they broke this door here. They broke through this door right here. Dolores Garner's home was wrongly raided. So this doesn't close right anymore. Wow. Her security doors pried open, property inside her home torn apart by a team of Chicago police officers. Well, I could probably show you a million of these kinds of clips. I think you've already seen them. I just wanted to remind you. But here is another issue, maybe even the real issue. But it's getting hard to figure out what the truth is or what the real issue is because we're too busy thinking about the epidemic of all these people that want to be uh, vampires and, and monkeys and it, 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 it they need immediate medical t attention and there's no money for that, so we're going to have to take the taxpayer's money. But what's really going on here? That's what we should really be thinking about. Because there is some kind of shenanigans going on. There is some real thing going on behind the scenes that they're not letting you see. There's a motive. There is a reason that Mr. Magoo became president and destroyed our country in the matter of two years. They wanted to do that. And now they want you to be angry about it. And they want you to turn your love and patriotism to the next election. Never worrying about whether the last one was even fair or actually happened. But you've got to, it, it all depends on whether or not we go out and vote for this billionaire and they're, they're persecuting the billionaires. <laughs> but you see, don't even think about all the poor little children that are being raped and pillaged. Okay? Don't think about the fact that none of this world, not one thing in this world, is part of our Lord and Savior's kingdom. And we should reject it all, including the entire political system. Watch this. Simone Sanders is pleading with other voices on her network to change the way they reference what happened at Trump's Mar-a-Lago home. Yeah, she tweeted, quote, please, folks, stop calling it a raid. Joe Concha, 
joins us now. Joe, what should we call 30 federal agents coming into a private residence gun blazing? Uh, according to the left, should we call this a recession? Should we call this a woman? What should we label this, Joe? Interesting. I'll take what is a raid for 500, Todd. The fallout from the FBI's extraordinary search of Donald Trump's home and club in Florida. We're learning more about what they did, what they found, as partisans debate this unprecedented development. Chief Washington correspondent John Carl starts us off. Good morning, John. Good morning, George. We're learning new details about the FBI's raid of Mar-a-Lago as Republican attacks on the Department of Justice and the FBI intensify, prompting fears that rhetoric could turn to violence. So, you see, this is not an attack upon the president. This is not an attack upon you, the taxpayer, or the citizen. This is an attack upon government. Oh, that poor Biden, they're just lying about him. He probably is just such a, a sweet old man. And this attack by Republicans, which, listen, this is what this means. They divided the world up into two parts, okay? The liberals are minorities, blacks, whatever, foreigners, you know, people that are illegal, that got over the border. Oh, and all of the transgenders, and the uh, vampire wannabes, and the monkey people, and, and the zombies, they all hate conservatives. So now think about this, what we're really saying is that these other people that are against you, the citizen, they're all made up. They're not citizens, they're not people, they're just groups, categories that only, you know, nobody knows if they even really exist, and if they do exist... Somehow they were in, they were recruited, brought over here, like like the aliens or, that are coming across the border. They're not American citizens, and all they're doing is trying to get over here to find some food. They're, so they starve them out in Venezuela. They crash their government and their country and ruin their economy. And then they say, "Come on over here to America." So we got these desperate, you know, uh, refugees huddling at the border with. You know, uh, the coyote that's, that's, that's purchased them, they're slaves now to the coyote, and they will be from now on because they, they sold their soul to get over here. And the government got a little of money, it got a little in on that too. They get some kickbacks. What they promise to do is vote for the idiots. If we let you come over here and give you a free pass, then you must vote for us. In fact, why wouldn't they vote for them? Eh, they're going to give them free food, free housing, safety in a country where they're protected. And so, of course, you're going to have people, but they're not American citizens. So then you've got uh, a lot of minorities that years ago, may, maybe their ancestors came over here. And the only reason they brought them over here then was because they wanted them to be another group of individuals that are going to be pitted against the people who were here already. I mean, well, this started originally with the pilgrims who were against the natives and the natives against, and then they fought and killed each other. And, and I guess the pilgrims thought they won, but not really. There's another group who came over here from the York, the Freemasonry York Rite, and created a little place in Maine called York. And then they moved down and made New York. <laughs> and then they took over the country. And we've never figured this out since. And they've been pitting everybody against each other since. So the people that are voting socialists are not Americans. And they're willing to do whatever they need to do. They'll, they pay them, right? If you pay them, then they'll go out and rob you, burn down your houses, burn down your cities. And they will definitely vote for the people that's allowing to, them to do that. But we, the citizen, which now in actually includes all, even a lot of the minorities are now in, involved in this. And even they're, they're for Trump now because they realize, wait a minute, this is us against them. And so we've got to be very upset when they hurt our president, never knowing that the entire thing is staged to get us fighting and to make a civil war. And all of the Republicans, what that means is the United States citizen that's been here, who cares about the country, but they have somehow deceived into thinking that what they really want 
is to make America great again, which was what? The devil's kingdom? We're living it up in luxury, running around, you know, sucking the oil out of the ground, ruining the environment. See, basically, as long as we had our perks, our luxuries, the poisons that we love so much, our whiskey, we could do all the porn we wanted all day long, it was all free, and violent movies, and we could just do anything we wanted, and live in luxury. You see, they gave that to us for a while, and then they took it away, and now they're saying, look, you want that back again? Then you better vote for Trump, which is what? Law and order. Remember when you were having all that wonderful stuff? Well, remember your brother was in jail, and your sister was on drugs, and and you were so depressed that you didn't know what to do. Well, that was that was better. That was the old days. That was better. Because now we're not only depressed and we don't know what we're going to do, but we're starving and literally they're threatening us with nuclear war and the end of all civilization. So yeah, we want to go back to that time when we were, at least some of us living it up and the rest of us were in prison. That's the good old days. If we could just get that back. See, what they're trying to say, because you know, most people probably didn't appreciate all they were giving us. Oh, we had such amazing things and technology and stuff. And, and these darn Christians, they're the terrorists because they don't believe in progress. They don't believe in biotechnology and the Borg and the Neuralink. But you see, Trump does believe in that and his buddy Elon. In fact, they're the ones spearheading the whole thing. Why, they just put a, a new thing out called the Truth Social Truth pro Platform or whatever that heck that is. So obviously they're for truth. And we're buying it. Hey, let's just continue doing that because the rich will get richer and the poor will get poorer. And that's what we want. Plus, remember the father of the thing? Yeah, and Bill Gates on the TED Talks with the Depop and the Guidestones going down at the same... Okay, that's what we want. Uh, not me. You see, but they're turning the uh, tables and maybe they're gearing up. They're putting a wedge between uh, one side of the country and the other side. The people who want freedom and a place to live and a bite of food, they're so poor, they'll do anything just to, you know, get some relief. And then you got the other part of the country that used to have land and were citizens and walking around, you know, uh, with some dignity and, and they've taken everything from them. And so now they think it's the other people's fault and the other people think it's their fault. And there's going to be a civil war and they're putting the fuel on the fire. And so the liberals are going to come out and say, well, it's terrible. They're attacking government. We're going to have to send in the tanks like Tiananmen Square. The same thing that's going on in China is going to happen here. It's happening here. You don't believe me? But it's the same people that run China as the people that run this. I mean, what do you think China's been doing for the last hundred years? Making trinkets for you to consume. And they're all sitting around in a factory getting a dollar a day. Oh, those were the good old days. And that's what we would like to have to return to the world. The days of Waco and Ruby Ridge. Oh, man, please give us the good old days of the Ku Klux Klan. Slavery. Oh, sure. Those are the good old days. Oh, no, no, Dave, not that. We're just trying to have an economy. No, what are you saying, economy? What is an economy? What do you really think an economy is? It means that there's going to be some people that are going to live in castles on a hill and they're going to be taking and stealing the food out of the mouths of the children. And the Chinese are going to work for a dollar a day, as we said. Those are the good old days, right? And the Mexicans, back when the peso was worth three cents, when there was the Cold War, and our great actor president, Ronald Reagan, would get up there with his cowboy hat and say some crazy stuff like, Tear down this wall, Mr. Gorbachev! You know... And we had Perestroika. We had Leave it to Beaver. Dick Van Dyke on the television. It was so entertaining. All the propaganda how women should do what they're told. And Mr. Beaver would know everything. And then they turned the tables. And then like the next dec decade, the, 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 all the men were like drunks and, you know, and, and floozies. And, and the women were out working and they, they knew best. It was like mom knew best. They switched the whole thing on us. 
Now they're saying, you know, because what was it like 20 years ago? They wanted you to be uh, proper and trim and curtsy and open the door and hold it for your girl. And now it's like, no, you're supposed to be going getting a sex change or something. The whole thing is completely changed. So what is it that we want to go back to the good old days? Now, if you mean we would like to go back to some common sense, we're going to have to go back to the days of Jesus Christ when Jesus was on the earth and he said, my kingdom is no part of this world. But even then, very few believed him. And I know a lot of you are thinking, well, now, Dave, sure, we'd like to have Jesus rule the world and, you know, and Christ's kingdom and all that. We know that. But we can't have that. Jesus ain't here. So, you know, we just don't want to be abused by the government. So we're going to fight these guys. We're going to oppose these. We're going to vote for somebody that will love us and care about us and, and bring the good old day. You know, back to the Leave it to Beaver day, at least that was better than what we got now. Sex changes and all this stuff. Well, here's what you're not understanding. The Leave it to Beaver was only preparatory to the coming zombie apocalypse, which they are bringing and they are getting you to a place where you will think somehow or another it's your fault. Trust me. I'm not in any way suggesting that Biden's two and a half years in office or whatever it's been is is a good thing. I don't like it at all. I don't like the transgender movement, the agendas. I don't like, well, you know, I don't like any of this. So why would I want to continue on with this Biden regime? I don't. And I don't want to continue on with a Trump regime either. Because you see, they want a one world government. So they've got to make you so angry at chaos that you're willing to receive order from the one world government. See, they want you to be so angry that you'll go out and take matters into your own hands. They'll then accuse you of being a terrorist and send in tanks. They did it in Iraq and Afghanistan and over there in uh, Libya and all that. They remember for years, supposedly all these Muslims were running around blowing up markets and everybody in the world thought these Muslims are crazy, but we did not understand that it was a manipulation of our minds. They were planting it. It was F L A S E F L A G's. You understand what I'm saying? And it, turned opinion so that we could, so they could mold your opinion so that they could go in there and wipe them out and you'd all feel like patriots doing it. They're going to have at least half of the world hating the Christians and the decent moral people because while you have lots of people on your side, maybe, and lots of people are saying, well, this isn't fair and we're the good people. We want to go back to the good old days. But really what you're doing is you're, you're, you're spouting views that they will more and more increasingly by pushing you up against a wall and you start getting angry and violent. And of course, they already paid the other side to be angry and violent. So now they can have a clash and they can overthrow this violent mess and blame it all on you and bring in the one world government. Let me show you why this is happening or how this is happening. We were talking about Alex Jones the other day and this whole trial thing. Do you know that while this trial with Alex Jones was going on, there was another trial, a whole other thing uh, going on about some school, you know, S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G. But nobody even paid any attention to that discussion. Because we're all talking about Alex Jones. Now, we were talking about whether or not Alex Jones was controlled opposition. Well, let me show you just how very likely that is and why. The actual reason why they might be using controlled opposition, such as Mr. Alex Jones. Take a look at this and you'll see what I'm saying. In the face of growing Republican outrage over the raid of Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago home, the White House is declining to make any comment whatsoever, other than to say President Biden had no role in authorizing it and, in fact, didn't even know about it until the news broke. 
The president was not briefed, did not, was not aware of it, no. No one at the White House was given uh, a heads up, no, that did not happen. Republicans are accusing the Biden administration of weaponizing the FBI and the Justice Department. Some Trump allies are even calling to defund the FBI. Social media is absolutely flooded today with threatening posts in the wake of the FBI searching Mar-a-Lago. And it raises real questions about what law enforcement could be facing. Those threatening comments started pouring in within minutes of Donald Trump revealing the FBI was at his home. Online, supporters writing things like, lock and load. When does the shooting start? And they will cry out in authentic pain soon. NBC's Ben Collins tracks disinformation and extremism and says he hasn't seen violent comments like this since before the January 6th attack on the nation's capital. Ben, as you can see, is here with us. Oh, why look at that face. Oh, he's just, oh, it's, he's a broken hearted. He's got to report to you how evil you all are. He's just saddened by your evil. Why, it, th this has never happened since the great attack, right? The great attack of the American citizens attacking the White House back on January the 6th. Remember that one? Ho, 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 you terrorists, you criminals, you're attacking us. See what they're doing? Do you see what they're doing? And you say, well, yeah, but, you know, Trump's going to get in there and fix everything. No, Trump's going to come in and make it the way they want to make the world. A one world government. He's the father of the thing. Warp speed, guys. But in order to get you to accept it, so you don't complain and you receive it with gladness, you are being prepped to hate this old order. And those who will not accept the new world order will be characterized as terrorists and attackers, and they'll send in the military to take care of you. Watch this. Part of Senator Marco Rubio. Senator, you actually said about this, I found it interesting that Joe Biden, the administration, the DOJ, the FBI are playing with fire. Look, I'm, I'm here in a very unique position in South Florida, surrounded by people that come from countries where this is familiar to them. This is shocking to Americans. But in Latin America and many of these you know, countries around the world, here's what happens. A group takes power. One of the first things that group does is they begin to persecute and go after their political opponents. And then when the supporters of their political opponents begin to complain about it, they begin to target them and they criminalize opposition. Now, most people would see that, Mr. Rubio, and say, well, Dave, shouldn't we vote for these guys like Rubio? I mean, he's telling the truth. Isn't he right, Dave? Yeah, he is right. We are turning into a third world country. And he's standing up for what? For a third, for us, the United States? No, he's standing up for Trump. He's standing up for his party. When has he ever stood up for you as a human being? When you went to jail? When your house got raided? Uh, when they took away your rights. I mean, you know, all this transgenderism, they can't do anything about that. They're never going to do anything about that because it's a political uh, exploitation upon your soul. They're behind all of it. They only say things on camera to make you vote for them. And then it's a good cop, bad cop. And then, you know, once they get Trump in and everybody, you know, is uh, told to toe the line, and no more anarchy, and we must obey the government. And they've already told you what they're going to do with the Noahide laws, the Abrahamic covenant, and, you know, the loving of this state of Israel and the new world order. They already told you, and you don't seem to understand. They're not, Mr. Rubio's not fighting for you. He's just making you vote for him. Do you understand? You understand now? Let me show you that the people that you like are controlled opposition. Like Rubio, you may like him. I don't know, Trump, Alex, you see. Well, why would, why would they hate Trump if they really love him, if they're all on the same side? Why would they hate Alex so bad? But in reality, he's part of the whole delusion. I'll show you why. The other day we ran a couple of possibilities of why there would be such a thing as a controlled opposition. 
But today we're going to show you what appears to be the real reason. They're using individuals like cheerleaders. They go out with their pom-poms and go, yay, yay, yay for Trump and down for Biden. And so they're on our sides. They're cheering. We're going to get a, a, a touchdown or at least a goal point here soon. And we're all excited. But what is the game? What is this whole game that we're winning here? We're going to get the one world government. And so Alex is just the cheerleader. They want you to love him and hate the people that are against him. They want you to love Trump and hate the people that are against him. Now, in doing this, they're not going to have somebody tell you the real truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, in a calm and mature way, somebody with some common sense that, that really cares about you. It's not just interested in money or fame or power. They're not going to give you that. They're not going to give you a good person to be your leader. They're going to give you somebody that's going to say a, good, a bunch of stuff that's good, tell you some truth, but at the same time, they're going to look like an idiot, jump around, uh, jump up and down, act like a crazy maniac. And then they can show clips of that and say, he's crazy. They'll take him to court. They'll prove that they're bad, that, they're, that they were liars. And they'll prove that all this is a conspiracy theory. And then they'll... In fact, I think Alex has even admit, said this on, on his own... Uh, podcast. He's explained that what I'm saying right now. He's told you this. See, they want you to know this. They're going to turn around and say that you're the criminal. People like Alex is a criminal. Now you're going to be the criminal. See? So, watch this. Now, uh, you got to see this. Look at this. Got somebody not out to screw you, but the globalists got us to the point that they were going to shut down free speech, shut everything down, and really bring in nasty stuff. And even large sections of the elite went... You know, this globalism doesn't work so good. And this is really nasty. And we don't want to do this. So there's a real war going on in the elite right now. Don't think Trump just did this on his own. He was recruited by patriots and U.S. intelligence agencies for a fact. Trump was recruited by the U.S. Army. That's a big secret, but you deserve to know what the Democrats already know. You deserve to understand what's really going on. We were being held underwater. The country was being drowned. That's over. And the communist Chinese are crapping their britches right now. It isn't hurting their people that we're having a good economy. Okay, see, I know that most of you, when, they, when you see that, you're going to cheer. You're going to like him. No matter how many times he jumps up and down and acts like an idiot, you're going to say, no, he's telling the truth. I'd be mad too, Dave, if I was Alex. Well, I might be too. But did you hear what he said? He said that Trump was recruited by the military. Well, yeah, Dave, you see, uh, that's because we're patriots and Trump's a good guy in the military. See, they're good guys too. Huh? The military is a good guy? The military industrial complex? Are you serious? They're the ones, they're in cahoots with the CIA. In other words, they got covert operations and Alex is one of them. He's admitted to it. So why would somebody go on and tell us the truth and jump up and down and get angry like we're angry and, and pull on our heartstrings and make us believe? Because they want you to believe in what? Trump. They want you to hate who? Biden. Pelosi. Idiots. They want you to believe in the one world government and the new uh, thing over there in the Middle East. Their, their peace efforts. The Abrahamic covenant. They want to fulfill biblical prophecy of the beast that shall make you get a mark in your hand or your forehead, which according to Deuteronomy and Exodus is the law of Moses. And you won't believe all of that propaganda if you didn't have a concerted MK Ultra mind altering experience to make you believe. So they've got to take the CIA, the military, they've got to recruit people like Alex and Trump 
who are actors like Donald, uh, like, like, uh, Ronald, I should say, Reagan, who was an actor, and Gorbachev, who was an actor, and Zelensky, who is an actor, by the way, and Putin, who works for the KGB, and these guys who work for the CIA, and they're acting, and they're urging everybody up to this point to be angry at all the violence and all the bad people. Now, see, if Trump comes in and gives us all food and wealth and, and the economy again, stupid, they'll be fine. He could tell them to put a tattoo right in the middle of their forehead. He could, like he says, go down to Fifth Avenue with a pistol and get away with it, as Trump said. Because you don't care about morals. You don't care about the poor people in China working for a dollar a day. You don't care about the, the peso worth one penny. You don't care about the, 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 the Taiwanese and the, and, and the Japanese and, and, and the Native Americans and the minorities. And you don't even care about yourself, your own children. You let them go to prison. Your grandma go to a senior home. You know, oh, I don't know if we've ever tested this pharma thing, but you know, hey, let's stick it in our arm and, 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 and just pretend that this everything will be fine, even though everybody's dropping like flies around us. They've got to get you to believe these are CIA agents. Now, here's my final clip of the day, and then I'm going to let you guys go. And I hope that the Lord blesses you. And please tell everybody the truth. And get, get the good news out to everybody about the Lord's kingdom that's coming. And the only way we're going to receive the Lord's kingdom by, is by being no part of this world. Do not participate. Oh, wonderful days. I get to be a, a, an, an RN, right? Give people a, a thingy thing in their arm arm, right? I get to be a policeman. Oh, this is wonderful. The good old days. I'm going to go harass people on the, sit on the end of the corner and, 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 you know, throw my lights on, and pull people over and take them to jail. This is the good old days. Is that what you want? Like the Jeffersons, good times, you know. No. It's a bald face lie. It's a plot. It's evil. And here is my final clip. And then I'll bid you guys a good day. Have a good one. Uh, the Parkland sh uh, case is going on. And uh, the killer is on trial there. But uh, no, that's not the one that you've heard about, is it? Nobody's watching that. Everybody's watching the Alex Jones trial. Um... Alex is not the same guy he was 10 years ago. Not at all. Uh, not in terms of what he's saying. I've watched him change. People keep saying, well, you know, Sandy Hook, the thing was a total hoax. And um, Alex is being attacked because he's over the target. And he's just the first of many people who are going to lose their due process and juries. We lost our due process and juries a long time ago. Alex is not being, is, is not defending the First Amendment. He's not defending what he said about Sandy Hook. He's now saying Sandy Hook was 100% real.